Hey everybody, welcome back and uh, happy weekend. Um, we're back at base. Uh, it says to return to the base to try and go to Gemini, so that's what we're doing. So let's get to it. Oh my gosh, so many exclamations. It's a drink, but it's soft. I don't know about you guys, but I'm like one of those people that hates notifications. Like when I see them build up on my phone, I just, I have to like get rid of them. <laughs> Tries me nuts. There she is. Heard you had an interesting time at Thebes. Maniacs, lava, what's not to like? I'll remember that next time I go traveling. At least I got what we needed to trap Hephaestus. Good thing I got my gear ready then. Yeah, let's do this. Um, have you spoken with Alva yet? Yeah, when she's not reading the archives like a giddy kid drinking her first ale. Uh, she took to that new focus quick, that's for sure. Now, I gotta say, I'm a little jealous. But I can see why you two hit it off. You look tired. Ha! You're never one to hold back, are you? I've just been making sure that I got everything down for this mission of yours. I wouldn't want to be the usual screw-up out there. You'll do fine, Errant. It'll be great, right? I should get going. As soon as you want us heading out to those cauldrons. I'll give you the heads up. Guys, are we like kind of doing it? Is that what this From is about? From the look on your face, I'd say the mission was a success. I got Omega Clarence. Is everyone ready to head out to Cauldron Gemini? As soon as you give the word. Did Alva make it here all right? Our new Quen friend. The moment she laid eyes on the oh, archives, man. she jumped on them like a long leg. Sounds about right. Man, if this is like go time, I'm kind of worried because we haven't visited that other cauldron that's way out west. Um, I don't know what cauldron it is yet, but... Oh, I hope if we do this, it's not like a... It's not like a... Um, uh, point of no return. Once Gaia is back up and running, I expect you to put all your training to good use. The seeds have been planted. All they need is a chance to bloom. What? I thought that was pretty good. Zo liked it. I'm glad you and Zo found each other. Don't forget, you're to blame for that. Yeah, I'll remember that. Now that I have Omega clearance? We can grab Hephaestus and finally have the advantage over the Zeniths. Can't wait to see their faces as they stare down a bunch of charging thunder jaws. Better them than us, for once. Very I true. I should go get this to Gaia. <clears throat> of course. Thunder Let jaws us know are no when joke. we're needed. Um, why are we... Welcome back. Good to be back. I don't imagine this is the end. Quen guest yet? I feel like we still I have a lot to do. I could barely keep up if she gave herself a tour of the base. Varro gave her a new focus. Though when he told her she was free to access all the data we had here, she turned so pale I, I thought she'd faint on the spot. We showed her to the archive room so she could see for herself. She hasn't left the place since. Sounds like Alva. Yeah, I feel like we're like 85, 90% done. I don't think this will be like a point of no return. It just worries me because it kind of sounds like it, but not really. I mean, us all going to the cauldrons kind of sounds pretty final. Um, man, she still doesn't have... Well, I guess it's done. It's just weird that it's still there. Um, but I mean, we still have another cauldron and we still have to like defeat the Zeniths and... I just feel like that's gonna take a while, but I think we're almost there. How are things with everyone? Slightly quieter. Aaron's been busy scouring data on his newest obsession. Apparently the old ones wrestled machines as some kind of performance. Called it metal versus meat. A must-see battle between steel and flesh, as Aaron likes to put it. You'd think <laughs> we have enough of that going around as it is. Yeah. But Aaron doesn't know when to quit, so... Read anything interesting lately? 
I found out the old ones used leaf infusions like the Utaru do. Tea, they call it. Apparently it helped soothe them. That and some sort of scented wax they used to cleanse their aura. Uh, plus something called bubble baths. <laughs> Me, I think I'll stick to singing to calm the nerves. <laughs> I need to get going. Right. You've retrieved the Omega clearance. That means we'll be going after Hephaestus soon. I'll make sure my gear's ready. Alright, trying to make this quick so we're not spending the whole time in here. Aloy! Right to work, I see. There's just so much! I mean, we knew of artificial beings that served the ancestors, but Gaia? Oh, she's amazing! A and you, a true reincarnation of an ancestor. Genetically speaking, of course, not like the um, late CEO. And there's more ancestors out there. Returned from beyond the stars. Of course, they're trying to kill us, which is not great. And Eric Visser is with them, which is disturbing. Yeah. And Don't get then too there's Hephaestus. And okay, okay. How about we take it one step at a time? <laughs> yeah. You're right. I like the enthusiasm, but let's. I also owe you an explanation. Let's for chill. Everything that happened at Landfall. Oh my god. I imagine you don't know anyone here that well yet, but they're a good group. It's funny because one of your friends is, well, another you. Not that you are the same person at all. I mean, you are, as in you're both genetically Elizabeth Sobeck, but even so, you're different. Yeah, we are. Yeah. I hope everyone's been treating you okay. Oh, yeah, of course. They've all been extremely welcoming. And they share the knowledge they learn on their focuses with each other freely. It's refreshing. Back home, diviners can only share data with the permission from the overseers. Sounds restrictive <coughs> and stifling. Yeah, you are not wrong. Yeah, it's kind of weird that they would withhold knowledge from everybody. Hmm. I see you've been using your new focus. It's been fascinating. So much better than the version the Quen have. What would have taken me years to sort through, like the database you helped me recover? With this, I've been able to establish search parameters to speed up the process. This could revolutionize how diviners analyze the legacy. That is whatever part of it the overseers would actually let us study that sucks man people so excited to learn and they get restrict restricted all over the place left right and center you want data you'll find lots of it here a diviner has never had this sort of unsupervised access to archives such as this and knowing you I suspect there is much that would normally be forbidden held within them but I was sent here to help you. I would be remiss to ignore any truth laid before me. Maybe it'll help the Quen find their way back to the path of truth. Maybe. You mentioned Eric Visser. How do you know about him? The Zenith who tried to kill you? He is known to the Quen as the Protector. Combing through data related to his work led us to breakthroughs related to weapons and military tactics. Knowledge our rulers used to conquer and expand. To become the empire we are today. That's why he's one of our most revered ancestors. But, based on your encounter with him, it appears he's even more ruthless than we ever imagined. Yet another distorted interpretation in the legacy. Well... At least you're piecing together the truth. If only the overseers back home would do the same. Beta mentioned other Zeniths. Tilda, Verbena, and Gerard. I'm afraid I don't know anything about them. Whatever legacy they left behind, the Diviners haven't recovered. 
That's a shame. It would have been nice to know a little bit about them. Back at the greenhouse, you spoke of knowledge forbidden to your people. Diviners are meant to seek out the truth in the legacy. And many Imperials sponsor them in the hopes they'll find something the Empire can put to use, thus gaining favor with the Emperor. But the Board of Overseers claims certain truths are detrimental to the stability of the Empire. Like discovering one of our revered ancestors ended the world. That is why Diviners are only allowed to access segments of the Legacy. Only Overseers can view it all. It ensures that any heretical data can be contained and retrieved before it can spread. What happens to Diviners who break the rules? I never had the courage to ask. You might want to. You said you owed me an explanation for what happened in Thebes. I'm listening. Right. I'll start at the beginning, with the CO. He was an Imperial, the Emperor's nephew, in fact. As such, he sponsored many Diviners to search the Legacy for anything that might help the tribe, and himself. He took a special yeah. interest in anything related to Ted Farrow, whom I we bet. consider the greatest <clears throat> of the ancestors. Ted Farrow, revered ancestor. That's tough to take. I know better now, of course. Anyway, the Diviners discovered that Pharaoh spent a great deal of time in San Francisco. In fact, many of the most important ancestors did. So the Emperor's nephew convinced him that an expedition across the ocean might solve our most pressing problems. If only we could find the right data in this fabled city. Perhaps we could roll back the floods and storms that threatened our people. The Emperor declared that all the tribe's resources be poured into this endeavor. Dozens of ships were built, scouting missions were dispatched, and the Emperor's nephew was named Sio, one who wields the legacy for the good of the Empire. The living embodiment of Ted Farrow, the Renewer. It may seem strange now, but for a time, he carried all of our hopes. We really believed he would save us. We had no idea just how perilous the journey would be. It's a shame. You said the expedition across the sea was more dangerous than you thought it would be. What happened? We lost most of our ships to hurricanes, and scores of soldiers perished to hunger and disease. And that was before we even hit the coast. Once we landed, machines ripped our patrols apart, and we struggled to replenish our rations. There were bright spots, to be sure. We found Thebes and the greenhouse, but... Nothing improved the CEO's mood as his dreams of saving the tribe were slowly dashed. He became more and more obsessed with Thebes and what lay behind its door. Yeah, I could tell. More and more convinced that the title of CEO was no mere honorific. You heard him, spouting nonsense about Pharaoh's essence and some kind of becoming. We knew these weren't the words of a sane man, but he was quick to put any who spoke out in front of a firing squad. What a great guy. The Quen are wrong about many things when it comes to the legacy. I can see that now. But what the yeah, CEO power became was a complete perversion of what principal diviners stand for. The pursuit of truth. Uh, I'm sorry you had to endure his madness. I'm just glad it's over. For everyone. Yeah. <clears throat> me too. We were only with him for, what, 40 minutes? And you already drove me nuts. So, Bohai, your overseer, will he run things better than Sio? He won't execute people on a whim, if that's what you mean. But he's hardly a paragon of integrity. I can't tell you how many times he took credit for data in the legacy that I uncovered. The best thing I can say about him is that he can be trusted to always do what's best for him. Yep, sounds about right. The Ancestors. Is that what you people call the Old Ones? Yes and no. The Ancestors are the greatest of the Old Ones. Those whose legacy taught us agriculture, medicine, warfare, leadership, and patronage of the science and arts. The CEO called Elizabeth Sobek an assistant. What's that about? Right. Well, 
Any old one who has made minor contributions or worked extensively under one of the ancestors is called an assistant. That's how we thought of Sobek, until we met you. Our limited access to data past the late 2040s has obviously uh, misinformed our view of the past. Yeah, just a little bit. You mentioned the reason you came here was to help your family. Your sister... Her name is Alika. Our parents are commoners. Peasants, really. When I passed the divination exams, they were so proud. It brought honor to our family and increased rations. Only Alika begged me not to leave for the research academy. Why? What happens there? Alika knew that once you enter, you're not allowed to leave or see anyone. Not even your family. Uh, unless you can get special permission and an escort by an overseer. Sounds harsh. Like the focuses we keep, diviners are few in number, and the Empire is... Well, fearful that outsiders will try to steal our knowledge. Last time I was allowed to see my family was just before our voyage here. Because of my position, I was able to get them refuge from the floods within the capital. But if our crops don't recover soon, they'll starve to death along with everyone else. I promise I'll do my best to make sure it doesn't come to that. Okay. I need to get going, but if you need anything... All I need is to help you succeed in your mission. The plan Gaia told me about to capture Hephaestus, it will help set things right? I hope so. Then I will do whatever I can. I promise. You're amazing. Thank you. <clears throat> um... Oh, does he have his arm yet? Aloy, well met. We've been briefed on our mission and are ready whenever you wish to head to Cauldron Gemini. Were you able to finish the new arm Gaia was helping you with? Indeed. I was hoping we could discuss it, if you have a moment. Yes, please. You wanted to talk about your arm? Indeed. It's time to test it, and I want you to be there. <laughs> okay. Sick. How are we doing this? Not how. Where? Will you meet me where we fell Regala's tremor tusk? Right where the river bends? Sure, if you want, but I'm not sure I understand. You'll see when we get there. I promise. <laughs> then I'll let you know when I get close. You have my thanks, Aloy. Yeah, let's. Have you spoken with Alva? The Quen is peculiar. Nothing like a Tanakh. Her mind is sharp, that much is certain. But it's hard to imagine her surviving in the wilds. Trust me, she's tougher than she looks. I will take your word for it. How are your studies going? I wanted to learn more about the world of the Old Ones. And? I looked up this pharaoh Gaia said you went looking for, and learned about the plague of machines he unleashed. To think that the ancient world was wiped out by... <sighs> a mistake. A single miscalculation that... There is no glory or honor in such a fate. Only hubris. And pointless death. That about sums it up. Yeah. Putting it mildly. All right, we're definitely going to help him test I this thing out. Now. But let's then go talk to Beta real quick and then you. we'll be on our way. Like I said, I'll call you when I'm close to Regala's old outpost near the bulwark. May the Ten guide your way. I just, I'm curious. So, mind if we talk? I'd love to. I just want to see something real quick. How to go with the chorus after we fix the land gods. They were shocked when I told them that. Oh, I thought, okay. but of course, even so if it, to be honest, heard all this. they're lucky. Better head okay. out. Very Whoa. Okay. Um, sh She is. 
Down the stairs. Oh, we should probably check Gaia too. Frick. Why is this? Why is that on lockdown? What is she doing in there? What? Gaia? That's on lockdown. Gaia has some explaining to do. Okay, let's see if Gaia knows what's going on before we go help Catalo. And apologies, this might end up being a long episode again. Welcome back. Oopsies. Aloy, I know your experience in Thebes was unsettling, but we have a new problem. Oh, no. Did something go wrong with Beta and the rig? Will we be able to transport you to Gemini? The rig is complete. The problem is Hephaestus itself. No. It has accelerated its proliferation throughout the Cauldron Network, increasing its power. But with your sub functions restored, we can still succeed, right? Correct. But the net effect is that absorbing Hephaestus will take longer than previously calculated. Oh no! How long? Even with Omega clearance, my current- 35 hours! The merge will take 35 hours. Oh my And each hour increases the risk of detection by the Zeniths. That's a long time. It's old day and a half. Two cores. Two overrides. What if the merge were carried out by two clones of Elizabeth Sobek, both armed with Omega clearance? How long then? Half the time? Hephaestus would be unprepared for the simultaneous labor of two operators, in addition to obvious synergetic efficiencies. Calculating. It would reduce the merge time to approximately 4.5 hours. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Varl, it looks like we're gonna need Beta at Gemini. Do you think you can convince her? Uh, I don't know, but I'll try. What about our diversion? Are the pulse generators ready? Only a final test remains. I am confident that if fired in proximity to other cauldrons, the pulses will mask our activities at Gemini from the Zeniths. Good. As long as Aaron can operate one without shooting himself in the face. Aloy. Yeah. You better get down here. Beta's in bad shape. Oh no. Okay. Oh, no. Aloy. I know. I just wanted to talk about something else first. As you wish. Oh, this is so... Okay, well, we're gonna have to do this going. later. Goodbye, Aloy. We're gonna have to do this later. This sounds, like, pretty serious. I just wanted to see if it would be anything about other... Anything other than like companions and our progress because we obviously kind of know our progress, but it's good to always hear from Talk to Varl. Where is Varl? Oh, see we just got here a little bit too early Aloy I Tried but it's impossible. I don't think anything will convince her to go We don't have a choice Good luck Beta, you have to come with us. It's the only way. It's one oh, yeah? mission. The We're most important game? one. We need you. <laughs> Tell me why you won't go. What if they... What if they take me back? Alone. In a we cell again. Them. A slave. You need to grow some lady balls. Let's go. Forever. That won't happen. I really want to say this because she's kind of pissing me off, but I understand that she's been through a lot and I get it. That can be scary. I'm just like, Ugh, you know? 
Come on! Like, you've been, like, brushing all of us off this entire time, especially me. And now you want to shut down when we need you the most? Come on. But I understand. We've been through a lot. But we got you. Laurel and I will be at Gemini, too. I'll protect you. As soon as we get Hephaestus, we'll come straight back here. The Zeniths aren't going to find us. You don't have to be afraid. No! You can't protect me. Nothing can protect me from them. Well, I got away. I told you from the beginning we'll never you beat got them. Away. It's hopeless. Okay, now with that attitude. Beta. No chill. Leave me no alone. Chill. You don't understand. I think I do. You just need to calm down and breathe and have a little bit of courage You're and right. faith. I don't understand. We have the same genes, the same mind, the same heart. So why can't you find the strength to do what has to be done? Like Elizabeth would. Don't you think I've thought about that? I don't know what piece of Elizabeth I'm missing. I don't know what you have that I don't. I look through all the data from your focus. You were raised as an outcast, shunned and isolated just like me. So what's the difference? What's my defect? Nothing. You just need to have a leap of faith for once and trust people that care about you. Like a trust fall, you know? Beta. You don't have a defect. Beta. Look, it's not a piece of Elizabeth. The difference is, I had him. Frost. He raised you, trained you, but he was never warm or loving. The yeah, day he, he died, the day he gave you that charm, he was going to abandon you. He wanted me to embrace the tribe. But then he gave his life for mine. He loved me in his own way. And that was enough. What did it feel like? It was like... Having a strength that was always there. It's still there. Even now I hear him in my head when things get bad. But it looks impossible. Look deeper. And then fight like you can win. Rest in peace, Rost. All you need is love, Beta. You got this. We love you. In our own way. You don't have to go on the mission. We'll find another way. I'll go. Yes! You said you'd try to protect me. I believe you. Hell yeah, we got you. We got each other. But you have to promise me one thing. Yes, of course. If it goes bad, if the Zeniths find us, I don't want to be their slave again. Do you understand? Okay. Promise? I promise. I could use as much time as you can give me to study up on the merge, to make it as efficient as possible. I'll be ready when you are. I swear. Thanks, Beta. That's what's up. That's what's up! Aloy, whenever you are ready, come speak to me and I'll ask the others to make final preparations for the mission. Alrighty. Whoa. 
Oh my god. There's um How is it oh, I can never find It says here it had bubbles in it. There it is. Well we can't Let's finish make sense out of everything oh. the old ones did. What is that? So much happening right now, I don't know what to do. Hey, I don't know. I... I'm fine. Uh, oh I'm crap, I didn't surprised. mean to speed up that one. Really? <laughs> I thought it was just gonna be like the typical well, hey, I need to talk to you. I once knew a warrior who discovered Sorry. he had a brother late in life. It was deeply uncomfortable for him. Did he ever get over it? In time. But not before the two siblings nearly killed each other in a single combat challenge. Ah. Well, at least I avoided that. Um, sorry guys, I'm writing something down. <sighs> okay, I just wanted to see this. Are you nervous about the mission ahead? If I live, it will be in victory. If I die, it will be in battle. What matters most is that you achieve your objective. I'll do my best. Think you're ready to put all your training to the test? I am to Nacht. I am always ready. <laughs> okay, big guy. I should go I get will ready. see you at that site. I wait your orders. Oh, I'm sorry, guys. I thought we were, like, gonna be done. What is this about now? I hope I'm not interrupting. Not at all. I was just studying the pulse generator schematics. The ones Gaia and Beta built. <laughs> the craftsmanship is remarkable. Is everything all right? It sounded like there was an uh, issue with Beta and the mission. Not anymore. We just needed to talk some things through. To understand one another is to embrace truth. Oh, and uh, if you have a moment, there's something I could use your help with. What is it? Have you spoken with Zoe at all? A little bit, but uh, I did hear her singing with Varl not too long ago. I don't think they noticed. Zoe seemed so uh, free when she did it. Like, every emotion she had was taking flight in song. Uh, and she looked happier because of it. Uh, I felt so dull and nervous in comparison. You should ask So to teach you sometime. About Utaru music. Maybe. You should. If you need anything, I think it'll be good for you. Out to the cauldrons. You have nothing to worry about. Gaia's explained your plan in detail as expected from such an efficient AI. I've even received some very, um, uh, succinct combat advice from Katalo. <laughs> you know? I bet. Uh, in case the Zeniths show up. What kind of advice? He, um, told me to run. For now. We'll even the odds soon enough. <laughs> yeah. Any more data catch your eye? All of it? I have so much to study up on. <laughs> Years, actually. I'm particularly interested in the Odyssey. We knew the ancestors had made it to the moon. In fact, we theorized some of them had settled on it. But Sirius is way farther than that. And we thought journeying across the ocean would be the feat of a lifetime. The sheer calculations needed for space travel. It's overwhelming to think about. Even yeah. so. The Quen are way ahead of other tribes when it comes to understanding this stuff. Where I grew up, everyone thought that stars were sparks that rose from a fire lit by the goddess to guide us through the night. Yeah, good point. Must be strange to think that some of the ancestors your tribe reveres are still alive. And here on Earth, right now. Yeah, it is. Part of me is curious to know who else besides Eric Visser might be among them. Maybe Nikita Arand? We call her the Spark. The legacy tells us she brought unlimited energy to the Old Ones. Or Song Zhao, whom we call the Healer. It is said she found new ways to extend the Ancestors' lifespans. But my curiosity fades when I think of how different our view of Visser was compared to the reality that you experienced. 
Perhaps it is better not to know. Maybe. Let's talk about this thing you needed help with. You mentioned there was something you needed help with? Yes. Uh, so, as I was sifting through data from the greenhouse, I found references to an old world system back in the Great Delta. It's called Leviathan. My people discovered it decades ago. A sprawling network of river gates and a labyrinth of underground tunnels. The legacy revealed that the old ones used it to control flooding. But we've never gotten it to work. The whole thing is shut down. But the data from the greenhouse mentions the research facility where Leviathan was created. It's in San Francisco. Another pharaoh facility? Hmm. No. Leviathan was a project by Eileen Sasaki, another ancestor. So the legacy tells us, anyway. If we can acquire that data, we might be able to fix the system back in the Great Delta. Every year, my sister gets terrified when the long rains begin. With Leviathan, maybe she won't have to be. Okay. So where in San Francisco is this facility? That's the thing. The data doesn't say where, exactly. But one of our diviners has been exploring the ruins. He might know. Would you come with me? I have a feeling that wherever this facility is, well, you're much better at fighting machines than I am. Of course. I'll let you know when I'm in landfall. Thank you, Aloy. Okay. You Make sure you talk to Gaia if you have any questions about the pulse generators. May your path lead to truth. Thanks, Alva. <clears throat> and like I said, I'll let you know when I'm in landfall. We'll find the data you're after. I appreciate it. Okay. Oh my god, it never stops. What is going on? Okay. Hey, we'll be going after Hephaestus soon. You good with the plan? I've already got the location of my assigned cauldron. Good. I heard you and Beta had a talk. News travels fast. It's it wasn't a small exactly building. a quiet conversation. There were just things that needed to be said. A healthy crop to those who clear the weeds between them, as the Utaru say. It's a good saying, I like it. You look like you have something on your mind. We're going to war soon. And war is something I promised myself I'd left behind in the Red Raids. But the more of your data I go through, every voice I hear, every word I read from our ancient past, it makes me realize just how much life was given so that ours could flourish. Fighting for that gift, it's our responsibility. If we fail, it was all for naught. Helps to know you're not alone. For a moment there, you sounded like Varl. I don't know what you're talking about. Well, we are close, buds. I should go. As soon as you intend to leave for Gemini, you'll hear about it. Okay, Varl, you're next. Get all these out of the way so we can. Aloy, have a clear everything head. okay with you and Beta? It sounded yeah, yeah, like you guys had a uh, lively conversation. We just had a lot to talk about. Does this mean she's coming with us to Gemini? It does. I hope you're ready to rein in the most stubborn AI of all time. That's what all this was for, wasn't it? Hephaestus won't go down quietly. Hephaestus is just a program that's lost its way. We are fighting for our survival. I can always call upon the goddess if you're nervous. <laughs> Funny. Oh my god. Yeah, that won't be necessary. You're right, you know. About keeping Rost's memories buried. I guess part of me thought he was holding me back. Because he wanted me to be a Nora. But the truth is, he gave me a lot. And I took him for granted. He was a good man. He raised you well. Yeah, he did. I hope firing off those pulse generators will be enough to distract the Zeniths. It'll work. It has to. 
Always optimistic, huh? Nah, just stubborn. It's a good quality to have when dealing with you. Yeah, right. How does everyone seem to you? Anxious, but ready. I heard Catalo ask for Alva's help with his pulse generator. And I know he's been helping her with a few fighting techniques, just in case. <laughs> yeah, I need it. Like I said, just in case. I'm sure they'll be needed. I'm pretty sure the Zeniths aren't stupid. But not saying... Okay, okay. Not saying this plan won't work. Not being a pessimist. Just saying I'm pretty sure they're gonna have an inkling that something weird is happening. I mean, all the cauldrons having a pulse all at once, that's... I mean, to me, if I were to see that and that never happened before, I'd be like, okay. First of all, this red-haired girl is capturing stuff that we've been trying to get. And now all these cauldrons are pulsing at the same time. Like there's something going on here. Like they're gonna know that something's weird. They're just probably, maybe, possibly not gonna know which cauldron to hit. I don't know. I, <laughs> I don't know. Any last findings you want to share before leaving? Not really. Though I've reached a decision. Oh. When we put Gaia together, I want to return to the Nora, spread what I've learned. You think they'll listen to you? In time. I believe so. If anyone can make it happen, it's you, Val. What will you and Zoe do if you go back to the Embrace? I hope she'll come with me. At least for a while. And I'll go with her to Plainsong, too. She'll probably want to talk to her people about all this, as well. We'll figure it out. I know you will. I'm glad you're coming with me, Val. Sure there's no urge to run off alone in there somewhere? <laughs> no more running. No. Not today. Maybe tomorrow, I can't promise. Hey, I thought I'd check in before leaving for Gemini. Are you sure we shouldn't be checking up on you? Whatever went on between you and Beta sounded intense. Not that I'm judging. Forge knows all the screws flew loose every time Mercer and I fought. I think we'll be fine from now on. I'm glad to hear it. Yeah, as long as we don't break our promise. Anybody take you up on that ale you brought yet? Zo can't stand the smell of it. I tried Alva, but I don't think she knows what taking a break means. <laughs> and I'm not putting Varl well, anywhere near that excited. stuff after that victory party in Meridian. And what about Catalo? Ah, now there's a man that can hold his liquor. Pretty sure we downed half a keg. We had a good chat, I think. <laughs> well, he hasn't killed you, so I guess it was a good chat. After we get Hephaestus, we'll be taking the fight to the Zeniths. So, no more reading. Ah, it wasn't that bad. Not really. Besides, uh, going through all that data helped me realize something. You know, the soldiers, the, the ones that fought the Pharaoh machines so Gaia could be built? Uh, they were fighting a battle that couldn't be won. Not with all the weapons in the world. I think... Most of them realized that, whether anyone said it or not. They still did it, though. They bought time for all the eggheads working to save the future. Our future. As long as I can do that for you, I'll consider myself a success. Thank you, Arendt. I'm glad you're with me. Okay, enough. I'm gonna get emotional. <laughs> I should go. Yeah, same here. I got a date with a cauldron to prepare for. Yeah, you do that, buddy. Uh, do we need to talk to Gaia? Ugh. I just want to see what she thinks about Aloy. our progress. Hello. Hello, Aloy. So, I guess you heard all that below, with Beta? Yes. I am continuously impressed by the complexity of human relationships. I Despite bet. the unpleasant circumstances that led to your quarrel, I am pleased to see you have both found an agreeable resolution. Well, two heads are better than one, right? Yes, I believe so. Are you ready to depart for Cauldron Gemini? 
Or we can mm. continue our conversation, if you like. I'm not ready for Gemini just yet. Not yet. Oh my god. Missing subordinate functions. Okay, we can get to these when we're ready for Gemini. Uh, let's just check our progress. Real quick. What's it? 45 minutes? Actually, no. Let's. Let's. I guess let's I should get going. Not. As you say, it's, it's already 45 minutes. I'm sorry, guys. Well, Aloy. Gosh, time flies. Okay. When we're ready for Gemini, we will talk to Gaia and get all caught up with her. Um. But for now. For now, I really, really, really want to help Catalo. Okay, and then where is... Oh, okay, oh, right, 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 right. Yeah, so why don't we uh, help Catalo and then go help uh, Alva. I think that sounds like a plan. I think that sounds dandy. I don't think we have much to do here. We'll follow up with everybody else when we're ready for Gemini. They're probably going to have more exclamation marks, but we could just... I don't know. Um, filter them out, I guess. Uh, where's the exit? So yeah, let's, let's head out. And... We will... Uh, go meet with Catalo over by the Regala area that you guys didn't see because my capture card failed on me. So, an high school out here. Um, hopefully that won't happen again. <laughs> but, okay. Okay. Oh, I can't travel. Fine. Fine. Well, this should be fun. 